Hello everyone. In this video, now we are finally going to build the exchange sheet in Google Sheet and display the data uh, using the Postman collection pack. So let's directly see what we have done so far. So in this um, clip, we are going to focus on the exchange portal and everything our organization has created. We will try to read out the information using the Postman collection pack first and then integrate this into Google Sheet. So in Google Sheet, what we have built so far were our different sheets for credentials. Uh, we had the user information. We had the different environments and uh, in the last video we created the design center project so we are now able to see what are the different projects for that specific connected user so next step is now building the exchange assets and sheets and display it here so let's create directly here the exchange assets i will call it and we can again start with the index yeah so this is just for us um, the parameter which controls the different uh, rows so we will always start by zero and uh, continue based on the number of assets we have in exchange then for sure we need an id we need name and that would be it which i know out of the box so now let's trigger exchange in order to see what are the other uh, properties we could be receiving here and for that i will be going into the postman collection pack open the login request and click on send to authenticate we should hopefully be receiving the token and now with this token i will just set my organization id by using the get profile information so this automatically sends in the post test uh, execution the organization id environment variable so with this we are all set and now we can go into the area of exchange in exchange you will find different folders we will be mainly working in this video on the assets folder and in assets again you have different kind of request first of all you have here get all assets by organization mulesoft uh, so this will display me everything Microsoft provides. You can see the list is long here. Um, probably we are not going to use this for our sheet because this is available. We are going to look into the organization asset we have created um, and trigger those. So here we can see this is the result basically from the exchange assets we have published. And we are going to get here, let's say, the asset ID. We have, first of all, the group ID. We can copy this and uh, put this as part of our Excel or Google Sheet. Yeah, so let's say this is here. Uh, it should be like this, I guess. So this is group ID. Then we had asset ID. And then we want to have the version for sure. Version. So let's fill in all the different items I want to have and then I will continue the video from there. So I have uh, created or selected the items I want to have here. So you can see it. These are the items. I want to have the group ID, asset ID, version, minor version, version group, then description. And now it becomes more important for me to see, okay, if this asset is public. Yeah, so this is important if I'm sharing this assets outside of my organization or not. Name type is okay. Then also the status is this published or deprecated and ratings as well as the number of ratings and also what is the organization and created by which user. So these are just the information I want to extract in this video to build my Google sheet. Again, I want to start here with one, two, three and take it from here like yeah, 30 assets let's hope to receive those and now let's start with the first one yeah? again i would like to put again the if error statement here and then we had the fetch json um, where we want to first of all receive the url uh, you remember we had the url set 
in the credential sheet. So this is something which I will uh, use here. And this should be concatenated with the renaming a uh, remaining URL from the Postman collection pack. So exchange everything which is in exchange until search. No, until assets. So that would be it. So I can paste it directly here. And one thing what I also need is the organization ID. This is one parameter I would need because this is flexible. Without this parameter, I'm not able to receive any um, any result. So here I can just create a, uh, a question mark and enter the organization ID here, which again I have also extracted in this um, Excel sheet and the org ID was under user information P5. Yeah, so this is here. So this is now building my URL. Then the next thing is I would receive the token and the token was here in D2. So let's say credentials exclamation mark D$2. Also put here a dollar in between, so we are good. This is static, like this. And I need to have a X pass then in order to receive the group ID. So now let's take a look how this would potentially look like. So group ID, we are here, we receive a list back and group ID is just the first row item, the first uh, property so I can just copy here group ID and paste it basically here and that would be it and the if error I just say if there is an error display just nothing now let's see node not available okay so something is not correct yeah it's okay because I forgot to add the row which I wanted to receive and this was in my case is now zero yeah so you can see zero here i have added the zero so let me get rid of the zero here and just say this is a2 and concatenate so this would be fine and now i can just put this down completely and it should show me all the assets group id which exists there and now it's easy for me i can just simply copy paste and replace the group id with the right property let's do this for version as well so we have the version here version we have the minor version and this is super cool for me as an admin to have everything documented in Google Sheet and extract it anytime I want directly using this approach. So minor version, uh, this was already, so this time we need to have the version group. So then we have the description. So let's add the description here. We have the is public, super important for me, uh, in order to better understand what are the assets which are public. Is public like this probably. Then you have the name. So this would be the name. We have the type. So let's enter here the type and the status. So let's add here the status. And here I have created by user. And this is a bit uh, different than the other ones because the other ones were, di were directly in the first level hierarchy. But the created by is a nested one yeah so i can see here i have the created by and i just need the username so i need to put here created by slash username so 
what I need to do here is in the X path, first of all, create it by slash username. And this should, okay, let me see again, created by username. What do we see here? Created by a username N is capital. So this is important. Uh, glad it happened now. So we can correct it here directly. So this is capital N. And then we will see this is the username. I have the org ID, same for organization. It's uh, kind of nested here. So organization, organization, slash, what do we have? Organization. And then I would like to have the name. Yeah, so let's say here, just the name. And we can see here the rating, super important. And maybe also the number of ratings. So let's see. Number of rating. Hopefully the spelling is correct. No, it is not correct. Let's go back into Postman collection pack. Number of rates. And so it's number of rates. So now it should be fine. Okay, this is good. And now what I can do is I can just select this and put it until row 30. And this should populate automatically the rest here. So you can see already what's happening. And meanwhile, this is uh, going on. I will just add few conditional um, conditional formatting. So I want to highlight all the... Um, all the APIs which are public and which are not public. So let's say false is green and another format is for the same row where it is true and true. I would like to, let's say just orange. So we are aware which one is true. Same I want to do for the status. So ones which are deprecated i want to highlight those so text exactly deprecated and this should be just orange this is fine and again one more important thing for me is to see also here the rating one is bad so here i need to build everything so let's say text exactly one and this would be then not so good so it's like red then i have two would be a lighter version so let's say this is here then three would be orange kind of three is this one then four goes already into the light green for me so let's say this is four and we put here yeah, kind of this one and five is which is completely green. So here we can add five and five would then be completely green. And zero is just not rated. Yeah? So this is okay. And now you have built a sheet which is showing you everything you need from exchange at one uh, spot so you no, don't need to drill down in exchange in order to see what's the rating if it's public because in order to find out now if an asset is uh, public or not public i need to really go into the asset details and then display it uh, from exchange so if let's say permissions id i can see the rating which is super cool i can see who is owning it or who was uh, the creator but now in order to get more information i see i have to click into it i can see the um, visibility is public i could also extract a contact name and email contact email i did not uh, populate it so for this reason i did not really look into it um, so this is one thing what i receive and also 
the rating, the number of ratings I have to see here, which by using this Google Sheet is super simple. I can see it directly here. Number of rates which has been provided so far. So that was it for the exchange assets. Super simple, super easy and um, an easy way to extract data using the platform APIs and Postman collection pack. So in our next video, we are going to look into the API manager and retrieve the proxies and see how you can get the data from the API manager. That was it. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Thank you.